G'day, Steve here. In this section, we're going to talk about a colt that was born to be a registered cutting horse that was kicked and bitten by a gelding from the day that it was born. As you can see in this first photograph, the wounds are horrendous. They've got these sheer cliff face edges on the wounds, which means that uh, the wounds are progressing and you can see the tunneling occurring. So these wounds were getting worse. They weren't getting any better. At 10 days after using the sheepskin dressing, you can see the reduction in the wounds and the nice round soft edges that are occurring because of granulation from the base of the wound to the top and at all sides unilaterally. At 14 days, you can see that they used half a bear of pajama pants to keep the dressing in place. Very innovative idea. But at 14 days, look at the healing of these wounds and the granulation that's occurred. It is absolutely unbelievable. You can see then as we go through to 19 days, the rolling of the, the tissue on the back of the elbow and the coverage of the, uh, the tendon itself. At 21 days, you can see that there's a scab is formed on the wound and the vet said, should we debride that? We said, no way. If you want no scarring, let that autolytically debride, which it did. You can see at 35 days here, the two, two of the central wounds are gone. The top one and the bottom one are almost to memory and full hair regeneration. These wounds were all healed in six weeks and in three months, he was able to be registered as a cutting horse. What a story. If you need answers, uh, questions answered, give us a call. Look for our next video on the dot with the hotspot. Take care out there.